Hello, this is Leo at Lead Time. In today's video, I'm going to do the steam distillation with the rosemary. I'm going to make the rosemary hydrosol and essential oil. In the meantime, during the video, I'm going to show you how to set up an oil hydrosol separator. When I'm editing the video, I found there's a problem. Uh, so I gotta redo this part. I'm using the organic uh, rosemary needle. Uh, a lot of audience ask me where you get the dry herbs. There are some very good vendors online and this is one of it. Uh, I didn't get any commission from them. I just, uh, based on my experience, uh, this is my favorite one. Um, so I put a 240 gram, the rosemary needle in the column and then uh, so with that I can calculate how much the yield is in after I finish. I already added water in the pot. When doing a circulation, so the water coming from the bottom and the water level goes up until you reach the top hole and will drain it and go back to the bucket. And you want you don't need a, like a very high flow rate um, because the benefit of this large reservoir so you have a lot of uh, uh, cooling opportunity, cooling power. Um, so yeah, then the water go back in there. Uh, I need to add more water in my bucket. So you see the bubble come in. Um, but you want to make sure the water level is uh, stable. Uh, if your pump is very powerful, you can use a little valve which connect between the pump and the condenser. You can close a little bit, close, you just go to the perpendicular position. If you go to uh, fully 90 degrees, that means fully closed. It means fully closed. So you just close a little bit, make sure the level, the, the flow is a, is a is good to keep the levels uh, stable and no overflow. Just in case you see like an overflowing, then you turn off the power and then adjust that valve before you turn on the, uh, the pump. The oil or hydrosol separator, uh, you need a, a stand. It's basically just a base, a rod, and the most important part is uh, the clamp. So you can uh, grip this and hold the position. Um, how this work, let me uh, take it out. Um, so this, the product, this still leg go into here. So when these settle down here, the oil will flow on the top of the hydrosol because uh, normally they are lighter, but some of the oil are heavier. Um, then the hydrosol will go from here when the water level goes up. So you make a U shape and the hydrosol will come out from here. So you can start collecting the hydrosol from here during the distillation. When the finish, when the finish, you take the tubing out and then you just drain from here you open it and then drain until the oil get to the valve then you close it and then you switch into a oil bottle then you collect the oil so this this one the benefit of using this is uh, this is a one unit you can do collection and also separation 
So you don't need a, like a dropper to collect. You just separate when you are discharging the distillate. Another tip I want to share with you is um, I like to use a, a outlet. It has a, a little switch. Uh, just in case if you need a, a emergency like a turn off the power so you can just turn off the switch it's uh, quicker than pulling the cord out of the, the wall outlet so you just have a little uh, extension and uh, find the one with a, a switch so you can see the rosemary oil it's a, uh, it's like clear, it's a clear, a little bit kind of a white, little bit like a white color. Um, yeah, the different oil has a different uh, color. Like a lavender has a little bit yellow. Ginger has a stronger yellow. Cinnamon has a a little bit yellow and rosemary is um, like a white find a better angle show you okay yeah hopefully it's more clear here So you see that the hydrosol is going up. Uh, once it meet this uh, little branch, it will flow out. And remember, put a cup here. I have this uh, measuring cup, uh, so I know how much I collected during the distillation. Generally, uh, one batch. Um, you can make a uh, one 1.5 liter put a little bit of rosemary here so you can see what it was and now because the level already reached here so the hydrosol go into the cup and you can see your oil the oil is still uh, you know getting more and more with time Generally, um, the oil came out first. It take a shorter time than fully uh, making all the hydrosol um, because in hydrosol not only has a little bit oil but also has some other um, soluble compound extracted from the plant. And oil take uh, like 30, 35 minutes for this batch, this size. It is 35 minutes. Let's see how much we got. See the oil on the top. I measured it. Uh, it's, uh, I use a tape to measure how deep it is. And I know the diameter so I calculate. It's a uh, 4.2 milliliter. Uh, you see, uh, getting close to 500 milliliter, uh, the hydrosol. Um, normally, the rosemary, the yield of the oil, I mean, the content of the oil is about 1 or 2 percent. So, we use a 240 gram. So, it's about 4, 4.5 uh, milliliter of oil. It's pretty good. Uh, 40 minutes got um, 4 milliliter of the hydrosol. So, yeah, as you roll, I'll show you the color of the hydrosol. Okay, I gotta put the cup there. So, you can see it's still a little bit cloudy. Uh, not as cloudy as uh, lavender, but it's still cloudy. Rosemary essential oil is uh, very good for hair and regrowth. A lot of uh, scientific research 
has done a study about the, how the effect efficacy of the rosemary oil on the hair regrowth and also understand what the reason for the for the for its uh, effect. Um, research show rosemary oil has an equal efficacy compared with the traditional method. It helps the hair growth, but the problem of the uh, traditional one is uh, some of the people get an allergy to that, so they cannot use the chemicals. And uh, rosemary oil because it's uh, from uh, nature and uh, and uh, it's been used for long many years in the, with a long history so people with allergy to the chemicals they can use the safe rosemary oil when you use a rosemary oil to put on the scalp and uh, do the hair massage you gotta dilute it normally you gotta do like a five percent dilution that means a four milliliter you can dilute like a 20 times that will be 80 milliliter so you, it can last for a while um, you only use on the scalp and uh, do the massage on the hair and uh, also the reason including like uh, improve for the microcirculation and also essential oil the rosemary essential oil has a good antimicrobial so it can help keep the scalp healthy so keep, uh, and even they have a very effective to reduce the itchy scalp. And for the hydrosol, you can use as, uh, also do the massage. After you wash hair, you do the hair rinse. And uh, you can keep there. It's not as uh, sticky as, uh, oily as uh, the essential oil, but it also, bring the function of the essential oil to the hair and you can keep on the hair during the whole night so this can be your uh, regular routine if you want to have a, a, a better hair long or bouncy hair so remember last time I talked about the lemongrass lemongrass also a uh, good uh, hairspray it can help uh, clean the hair, remove the oil and keep it shiny so you may want to combine the lemongrass and the rosemary together as your routine for their hair care. Uh, so I'm going to pour this uh, hydrosol in the bottle and I'm going to test it. Yeah, this does have a very strong uh, lamp, rosemary the smell, and so it's good as a skin toner because it has an anti-inflammation and also antibacteria. So it's good to clean the skin and remove the the germ. And also, as I said, in the, on the hair spray before you go to bed, just. Uh, spray and keep up to the next day it's pretty good so yeah today I show you how to do the steam distillation with rosemary I show you the collect of about 4 milliliter of uh, rosemary essential oil after 40 minutes um, distillation if you have uh, questions please leave here uh, I will answer you and also if you want to know like some other hydrosol I'll be happy to shoot another video um, thank you for watching uh, subscribe to the channel if you like hydrosol essential oil and I'll see you next time